Welcome to Daily Reading the Word for June the 22nd. I'm Jonathan Kinsler. Today's scripture reading is found in 1 Chronicles chapter 29 and Acts chapter 2 verses 25 through 47. The title of my devotional is Give with a Whole Heart. And we're going to be looking at 1 Chronicles chapter 29 verse 9, which says, Then the people rejoiced because they had offered so willingly, for they made their offering to the Lord with a whole heart, and King David also rejoiced greatly. Now what we see in this passage, um, and I would say specifically all of 1 Chronicles chapter 29, is that David, after first leading the people in in offering and giving to the Lord, the people respond in like manner. And so this chapter demonstrates that David was able to lead the people in preparing for the work of the temple because he had a heart that was after God's own. And that is, this is a message to all leaders, but all who would influence, all who would be, be an inspiration to and an example to other people is that we have to have our heart right first before we can lead others. And we need to do it right before we can lead others. Otherwise, we'll be leading people astray. So, first of all, we see that David recognized that the temple was not for man, but for God. And we see this in 1 Chronicles 29, verse 1. The king, then King David said to the entire assembly, My son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is still young and inexperienced, and the work is great. For the temple is not for man, but for the Lord God. And we need to understand that God continues to build his temple, continues to build his, his people, and it's not for us, it's for God. And so what should this inspire for us? It should inspire for us to give to the Lord. It should inspire for us that there could be no greater work that we should dedicate our lives to. Even as Jesus says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and then all these things will be added to you. Don't seek your own good. Seek his good first and foremost. And so then what we see is that David led by example. He gave much of his own personal wealth. And so David is a person that, that wouldn't give to God something that cost him nothing. And so we, this is how God's people are to lead as well. Um, lead others and set an example even for non-Christians of what it means to be a Christian. David inspires others to give, not just by what he has already given, but now he gives even more. So it's not just past giving, it's present giving as well. And we see that in 1 Chronicles 29 verse 3. And then in 29 verse 6, we see that David did not just give what is required of him, but he goes beyond to give himself wholeheartedly to the task. And this inspires others to give willingly and to give similarly to David, um, similarly as David gave as well. And so that we see this verse 6 says, Then the rulers of the father's households, in response to what David had, had done, the princes of the tribes of Israel and the commanders of thousands and of hundreds with the overseers over the king's work offered willingly. And this is what God always wants us to do is give willingly, not out of compulsion, but give out of a willing heart. Voluntarily sometimes mentioned that we would give to God, not because we have to, but because we get to, but because God is so good and there's nothing we'd rather do. The people's giving is far greater than David achieved on his own is what the result of this is. And that's one of the awesome things is we live um, according to God's way and uh, we are open about it to others. We inspire others also to give. And so our work has a multiplication kind of effect. And then we see God's work required more than the work of one man, but involves all of God's people to willingly give of themselves. And so just lastly here, how was David able to give so generously and lead so well? Well, his prayer in verses 10 through 19 reveals his heart. 
He recognized, first of all, God's rule, ownership, and grace overall. That's a great place when looking at giving and want, desiring to give even as God God wants us to. When, and when I talk about giving, I mean being dedicated to the work of, of the Lord, giving of our resources, but giving of our time, giving of all that we are. We realize that we belong to him and it's for his purpose. We see that in verses 11 to 12. And then in verses 14 to 16, we see that he recognized that he was only a steward of all that God had given him. Everything he owned still belonged to God. That's like Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 4. What do you have that has not been given to you? And we also see in 1 Chronicles 29 verse 20 that David led the people in prayer as well as in giving. We're called to do both. Not just pray, not just give, but to pray and give. Uh, so David here demonstrates a heart after God and leads by example. He walks humbly before God as his servant and gives to God freely, even as God has given to him. So while we might not be able to relate with David's riches, Jesus tells his disciples not to worry about their needs, for God will take care of them. Instead, we are to seek his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to us. And so it's not about what we don't have, but it's about what we have. It's like the young boy in John chapter 6 who gave to the disciples, his, probably his lunch even, five loaves of bread and two fish. And when placed into the hands of the master, it's able to feed a multitude of people and there's even food left over. So the question is not how much do you have, but have you given what you have into the hands of Jesus? So do you give to God over and above what he asks of you? Do you give willingly, freely, putting God first and seeking his purposes, even when it means giving sacrificially of what he has given you? And do you lead others to give by your example? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this word. What a great example David is for us. But Jesus, of course, is the greatest example even that David points toward and that we want our lives to point toward that Jesus gave his all for us everything to us and he held nothing back so Lord even as we seek to follow Jesus let us give all that we have into your hands that we were stewards only of what you have given us and that we would seek to please you we would seek to seek you above everything else in your name we pray amen